This is a 1930s semi-detached house, uh, three bedrooms. It's very common in the UK. Um, one of the main problems though is the fact that it's got solid walls and uh, obviously not very energy efficient. In fact, it's very poor in terms of energy efficiency. And that's one of the main issues we want to try and resolve through the Green Deal, to get solid wall insulation done. At the moment, we're, I think we're going to prefer to do it as external insulation rather than internal. And one of the advantages of that is that it, it would be less disruption inside the house. Well, I suppose I've got a, a number of different reasons for uh, wanting to do these uh, changes. I mean, I'm very interested in sustainability issues generally, um, because my job is to do with that. Um, it's also particularly to do with reducing carbon emissions. I'm quite keen to you know, reduce the household's uh, carbon footprint. Um, but obviously I'm quite keen on reducing energy bills and to make the house more comfortable as well. When we moved into the house, uh, some, some things had already been done, like double glazing, uh, loft insulation and draft proofing. The main thing that we've done is a new uh, wood filled uh, room heating stove. And we are uh, currently building an extension for a larger kitchen. But of course, um, the main issue as far as energy is concerned is the solid walls, which we hope to, to get insulated uh, through the Green Deal. I'm currently undergoing a, a Green Deal assessment, so I've, I haven't got the final thing, but I have heard, um, or learnt one or two things from it. Uh, one of the issues is the sort of behavioural issue to do with how we actually occupy the house. And apparently we use uh, less energy than most people, even though it's you know, not a very energy efficient house. Um, which means that the financial payback or the financial saving we make from insulating the walls won't be as great as, say, the textbook example. Aspects of the Green Deal that I'm a bit unsure about is the uh, interest rate for the, uh, the finance the loan aspect. So um, I haven't looked into it, obviously, in, his, in much detail yet, but I might be interested in uh, financing it some other route. Uh, I live in a Victorian terrace in an old railway town, uh, and it's a three-bedroom house. We like Victorian houses, we like that it has sash windows, we like that it has got nice features and fireplaces and I don't like, I don't like that my house is drafty and it's cold and expensive to heat. I'd love to get solid wall insulation at the back of my house. Uh, my little baby's bedroom is freezing because it juts out and it has two exposed walls. Uh, so I'd love it to have that room insulated. Um, I, so. And I know that if I want to do it, I'll have to do it externally at the back of the house. I am mostly worried about doing solid wall insulation on the inside of my house because of the impact it will have, especially in this room, um, because I have coving and I've got a cupboard in the way and it would be quite a major job. So that does concern me and I think that might be quite expensive. I'd also like to do underfloor insulation downstairs because um, the, the floorboards are very drafty. I'd like to sort out my windows. I'd like to sort my windows out. They, they are very drafty and my secondary glazing is appalling. It doesn't do, it's not fit for purpose. So uh, those are the three key things I'd like to get sorted. I'm mainly motivated by the rising fuel, rising cost of you know electricity and gas. That really worries me a lot. Yes, I had a green deal assessment. I had an assessor come round uh, and do a survey on my house. I loved it. I loved having someone come around my house and I loved having someone come around and do all the, look at all the things that I've been thinking about for a really long time and have you know somebody who had all this knowledge and uh, knew what things were suitable for my house and how I'd go about getting it because I don't even know who I'd go to to get these things done. I don't know how much it would cost. I have no idea. So I was just thrilled to bits to have someone come around my house and, and do a survey for me. It was brilliant. The house that I live in is an Edwardian house. It was built about 1905. It's got solid walls and it's still got the original sash windows. It's a mid terrace, has two bedrooms with an upstairs bathroom. I have increased the loft insulation in the house to take it up to the 270 recommended by building regulations. I've also um, put some secondary double glazing on almost all the sash windows which you can actually see next to me here and I've also had the boiler replaced. I have had a Green Deal assessment done for my house 
it's in terms of the the main things that would improve my house there wasn't any surprises there it was things like the solid wall insulation and the floor insulation what did um, please me was to find out that there is something called eco which will help me uh, meet the cost of having solid wall insulation done my understanding of the green deal is that it's a loan that i would pay back through my electricity bill and i would have to pay interest on that loan the eco is um, the energy company obligation and it's not a loan, it's a subsidy or a grant that would help reduce the amount that I would have to borrow to have solid wall insulation put in. There's one part of uh, eco which I think I would be eligible for because I live in a solid wall house and that would help anyone living in a solid wall house or ha has a hard to treat cavity and it's not means tested so that is really useful probably the best way to find out is to contact the energy saving trust to find out you know if you could qualify for eco